Hi, everybody. So this is the book that I've been reading out of um, for the past few weeks. And today we're going to read, and now I'm not going to be able to find it, the story about how Jesus called his first followers. There it is. Jesus left the desert and set about to the great rescue. He was going to get God's people back, but first he needed to find some helpers and friends. He had a lot to do. He would need some people to help him. Who would make good, strong helpers, do you think? Clever ones? Rich ones? Strong, important ones? Some people might think so, but I'm sure by now you don't need me to tell you they'd be wrong. Because the people God uses don't have to know a lot of things or have a lot of things. They just have to need him a lot. One day, Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee when he saw some brothers and friends mending their nets. They were poor fishermen. Jesus called out to them, Let's go! Peter, Andrew, James, and John looked up at this man on the shore, and they couldn't explain it. Their boats needed to be put away, the nets still needed mending, fish were still wiggling around on the shore. But something about this stranger made them just drop their nets and their fish, leave their boats and everything else, and follow him. This God-man was like no one they had ever met. When they looked at Jesus, their hearts filled up with a wonderful, forever sort of happiness, and inside it was as if they were running free in an open field. Jesus asked twelve men to be his helpers, Peter, Andrew, James, and John, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, another James, Simon, Thaddeus, and Judas. Meeting Jesus would change all of them forever.